welcome to our 10th video about the uh, city of Venice. At this moment you can see moment when uh, we are leaving uh, Murano Island and the story about Murano Island you could see in our uh, ninth video about the city of Venice. From uh, Murano Island we took a uh, Vaporetto boat which is a part of uh, Venice uh, uh, public transport and we used our uh, daily uh, Vaporetto ticket which is 25 euros per day and uh, we are going to visit Burano Island which is uh, uh, half an hour by a really pleasant uh, boat drive from uh, island of uh, Murano. Burano is a small uh, fishing uh, town and uh, it is famous by its uh, colorful uh, houses that are painted in uh, all colors of uh, rainbow and uh, as much as uh, Murano world famous by its uh, works of glass uh, Burano is uh, famous by works of uh, lace here uh, you can see many restaurants and also small artistic shops we started our walk uh, along uh, Burano by uh, not so touristic route and uh, I recommend you a lot to mm -hmm. to freely be lost in some way in Burano as Burano is not too big and uh, it is a good way to feel atmosphere in this uh, amazing uh, small city. The story said that uh, fishermen of uh, Borano couldn't find a way to their uh, island and uh, houses during a uh, bad and uh, uh, foggy weather so they decided to paint their houses in different colors and the other story said that it was some kind of marking uh, each house in different way whatever the reason was it is uh, something that is really uh, wonderful and uh, authentic along uh, Borano you can see a few water canals and uh, and the small bridges uh, across them and tourists in Borano are really enjoying uh, sometimes they play little games like uh, trying to count uh, all the colors that you can see in Borano and uh, the most famous game is uh, to try to find a house with the same color as uh, your t-shirt and to take a photo in front of it Galupi Street is the main street in Borano. There are many restaurants and shops, and there are shops where you can buy products of lace. But uh, you have to be careful as uh, many of them are made uh, by machines. So if you want, for example, to buy uh, handmade uh, uh, handkerchiefs, uh, it will cost you 50 euros. And uh, if you want to cover your table, uh, it is uh, quite expensive and it will cost you about uh, 500 euros. Yeah, 
A legend said that uh, there was a fisherman from Burano who had a fiancé and uh, on his way home he met a Seren and uh, resisted to her call. Seren was uh, amazed with his faithfulness and uh, she swished with her tail and uh, made uh, a foam which uh, soon after that became uh, a wonderful wedding the whale and it was the beginning of uh, lace industry in uh, Burano. After giving the wedding veil to his uh, fiancée, uh, the other uh, women in uh, Murano saw it and uh, they were amazed by its beauty. And so they took uh, needles in their hands and uh, it is the beginning of the uh, 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 lace industry in the 16th century. Burano is famous by its uh, leaning tower of Church San Martin Vescovo. This slanted uh, tower can be best seen uh, from the sea at the moment when you approach uh, Burano Island uh, by Vaporetto boat. At the top of the uh, tower there was uh, in ancient times an uh, uh, angel, but uh, during a big storm it fell down and uh, it was replaced now with an iron cross. Of course the most famous uh, leaning tower is tower in Pisa, but uh, Many says that the uh, tower in Burano wins because the uh, tower in Burano is surrounded by uh, amazing uh, rainbow colorful buildings. Now you can see a central square in Burano. It is a Galupi square and there you can see a museum of uh, lace and uh, also there is a statue of Baldassare Galupi, the famous uh, composer from Burano and uh, ancient uh, Istrian well from the 6th uh, uh, century. Just straight you can see the museum of uh, lace in Burano. The museum of lace in Burano was uh, in all times a school for the future uh, uh, lace uh, masters. On a few places in Burano you can see demonstration of, uh, of lace and uh, the most prominent are La Perla at uh, Galupi Street and uh, Martina Vidal where uh, women used to craft uh, lace for the four generations and there you can also buy uh, handmade uh, uh, products of lace. There are many restaurants in uh, Burano Borano is fishing village, so many of them are famous by its uh, seafood. And uh, there is a famous uh, risotto from uh, Burano. But you can also find uh, restaurants with uh, great uh, pasta and uh, pizza. Trattoria El Gato Nero is uh, uh, Michelin uh, recognized a restaurant in Galupi Street, famous by its uh, pasta and uh, seafood. Burano has its own uh, dessert. Uh, it's a uh, dense cake uh, called uh, Busolai or Buranelli. It is made of uh, sugar, uh, butter, flour and uh, eggs. And it was made by uh, Morano's uh, wives for their husbands that were going uh, uh, for fishing for the long period. And it was believed that uh, this cake uh, contains all precious ingredients for such a long stay on the sea. As you can see, this part of Burano is uh, amazing, but uh, there are almost no tourists here. And tourists are usually on uh, special routes for the tourists so I recommend you just to be free and uh, 
to go and walk uh, along this uh, island and to visit uh, the secret uh, but beautiful points. But don't be too loud because these uh, beautiful buildings are inhabited by uh, citizens of uh, Morano. Little later uh, you'll see Treponte Bridge uh, which is the most famous bridge in uh, Burano. It is a wooden bridge and uh, it is uh, on uh, crossings of uh, three canals in uh, Burano and it is a famous place for making uh, photos in uh, Burano and many tourists uh, uh, stop there. Now we are going in direction of uh, Casa di Bepisua, which is the most famous uh, house in Burano. Its uh, facade is made by its owner, uh, whose name was uh, Giuseppe. And Giuseppe maintained the local uh, cinema, and uh, after closing the cinema, he started to work as a uh, seller of uh, candies at the main uh, square at Burano mm -hmm. and he got the nickname uh, uh, Beppe di Sua that means uh, Beppe of uh, candies and he made a really unique oh, facade yeah, of uh, his house uh, with bold and geometric uh, shapes and uh, his love for the film was uh, maintained and after closing the cinema so, so he used to put the sheets over the windows and to make uh, film projections for the kids. Uh, Beppe is uh, no more among us and uh, uh, his sister continued to maintain his uh, house but uh, this man became some kind of uh, local legend and uh, he succeeded to make something uh, unique in this uh, uh, already unique uh, uh, city of uh, Burano. Here you can see the Casa Beppe di Sua. There are also two fish markets in Burano, but uh, those fish markets were already closed when they came there. And uh, you also will see a very nice promenade nearby the sea, but there are not many tourists there also. And we heard that there is a beautiful sunset from this place, but uh, uh, we left Burano about 3 p.m. so didn't check it. I think that Burano is much more peaceful in uh, late afternoon and in the evening when the tourists uh, usually go back to Venice. Uh, going back to Venice is also very easy. You just uh, hop on uh, a Pareto boat and uh, it will take you first to Morano and then continue to the city of uh, Venice. Thank you for following us. If you have time, please uh, put some like, uh, comment or uh, of course subscribe and uh, share this uh, video. It will help us to maintain this uh, 
channel and to provide you with uh, more beautiful uh, stories about uh, our uh, trips around the world. Here you can see a beautiful view from uh, uh, Treponte Bridge in Burano. Thank mm -hmm. you. 